You used to see them all around rural Colorado, the great western sugar beet plants. Now most are gone, but the crop still grows here. And sugar beets are the reason the Greeley Gray baseball team came to be. I always loved baseball. You know, dad played, we go watch him, you know. So it was the love for that. Gabe Lopez knows a lot about the Greeley Grays. He and his wife Jody have been researching them for more than 20 years. They started in the Spanish colonies, segregated communities where Latino sugar beet pickers lived. The migrant workers spend most of their days in the field doing the backbreaking labor needed to harvest the beets. But in their free time, they love to play baseball. The Grays were one of 13 Spanish colony teams in Colorado. They became the most famous. People in Model T's would surround the makeshift fields to watch them play on Sundays. The team borrowed its name from the Homestead Grays, a Negro League team that had barnstormed through the area. They were talking about it and they said, well, let's change our team to the Grays. And so they used the same colors, same uniform, same logo, same names and everything. And that's when they became the Greeley Grays. Some of the baseball diamonds where they played were nice. Most were pretty rugged. The players didn't care. Sometimes we'd have to build fields where the cows were at. And they would move the cows and pick up the cow patties and form their field out, put their backstop up. This is what my, uh, my uncle would use when he played for the uh, Greeley Grays. Today, there's an exhibit at the Museum of Boulder that Gabe provided. He loves to show it off to the students who are visiting. It has a Grays jersey, a glove and catcher's mask from the old days. There's a uniform from the team that replaced an early version of the Grays, the Montfort Packluggers. Yes, the same Montfort family that owns the Rockies. There's even a model of what the old Spanish colonies used to look like well, they would and a replica time, of a sugar beet because that's where it all started. Early Colorado baseball featuring Latino players who proved what we have always believed, that players play for the love of the game.